Hi, welcome to Storytime with Gigi. Today we're going to be reading another story from our Disney's Storybook Collection. Our story today is Hercules. Long ago, a mighty god named Zeus locked the monstrous titans away so that he and his gods and goddesses could rule the world from Mount Olympus. One day, Zeus's wife Hera gave birth to a bouncing baby boy. All the gods gathered to celebrate his birth. His name was Hercules, and his gift was strength. The proud father presented the baby with a flying horse called Pegasus. There was one god who was especially unhappy with Zeus. He was Hades, the god of the underworld. Hades had a plan to take over Olympus and make Zeus his prisoner. When the time was right, he planned to unleash the Titans, but he wanted to make sure that things would go according to his plan. Hades asked the fates, three sisters who shared one eye and could see into the future. They told Hades that he would defeat Zeus in 18 years when the planets lined up as long as Hercules did not fight. If he did, Hades would fail. Hades decided to get rid of little Hercules. He knew that if he he knew he could if Hercules were mortal. So the god of the underworld sent his henchmen, pain and panic, those those two guys in the back, to steal the baby and feed him a potion that would make him human. Before Hercules could finish the bottle, pain and panic were interrupted by a kind older couple who rescued the baby. Amphitryon and Al. Alchemini. The couple found Hercules and raised him as their own. As Hercules grew into a teenager, he was strong but clumsy. He was always in trouble with the other boys and villagers. Hercules tried to fit in, but something always happened, and he ended up causing a lot of destruction. Hercules just knew he didn't belong. Finally, Hercules' parents decided to tell him how they found him as a baby. He had been wearing a gold medallion that was a symbol of the gods. Hercules believed that the gods held the answers to his past, so he went to Zeus's temple to find out. In the temple, the statue of Zeus came alive. Zeus explained that Hercules was his son and that if the boy could prove himself a true hero on earth, he would be a god again. Then he could come home to Mount Olympus. Zeus sent Hercules to find Philocrates. Philocrates knew how to train heroes. Hercules found Phil, as he called him, and trained hard. Phil believed that Hercules was ready to be a hero. So he took him to Thebes. On the way, Hercules rescued a woman named Megara from a centaur and fell in love. He didn't know that Meg was working for Hades. There's Meg down there. Hercules rescued her. Hades tried to get rid of Hercules by forcing him to battle the Hydra, a monster with many heads. But Hercules won. So Hades sent Meg to find Hercules' weakness. Meg fell in love with him and didn't want anything bad to happen to Hercules. When Hades realized the two were in love, he told Hercules that unless he gave up his strength for 24 hours, Meg would get hurt. 
Hercules agreed, but only if Meg would be safe. Hades gave him his promise. Hades' plan was in place. With Hercules out of the way, it was time to unleash the Titans. Hades sent all but one after Zeus. He saved the Cyclops for Hercules. Hercules battled the one-eyed monster and defeated him, but when Hercules stood in front of a damaged column that was about to fall, Meg pushed him out of the way and the pillar fell on Meg and crushed her. Hades' deal was broken instantly. Hercules regained his strength and headed for Mount Olympus to stop the evil god. He freed everyone and defeated the Titans, but Hades still had Meg. Hercules headed down to the underworld to save her. Hades watched gleefully as Hercules dived into the pit of souls. He knew that no mortal ever came out, but Hercules had, the last, had at last proved that he was a true hero. He was a god once more. And he climbed out of the pit with Meg safe and sound. Now Hercules could come home to the gods on Mount Olympus. But something was stopping him. In the end, Hercules knew where he belonged, on Earth with Meg. And that's our story. I hope you liked it. Make sure you like and subscribe and share with your friends. Bye until next time.